Hey everybody, so here we are at the end of the third day of the Me Painting Challenge. Let's go over real quick what I did tonight. Uh, first I worked on this guy somewhat. Uh, he's just an old shock attack gun, metal shock attack gun. But I refurbished him. Uh, basically what I did was I cleaned up some uh, mold lines and some bits of metal I forgot to cut off. Gave him an entire model of wash of Agress Earth Shade. Um, then dry brushed over the metal with Necron Compound. And then layered up the skin with a layer of, uh, what do they call it these days? Warp Storm Glow, and then some Goblin Green, and then I did some lighting effects on the, uh, or some jimmy effects on some of the lights, some highlights on some of the red bits here. I don't think we'll see much here. Anyway, it's just a quick refurb job. He still needs a varnish, but other than that, he's ready to go. Um, also, I want to talk real quick about what this is. Uh, what you see here is my sort of pseudo photo booth. What it is is a some foam core in a three-sided box and what it does since it's well it was at one time white um, I've had this for a long time it's suffered a lot of abuse well when you put a model here basically what's going to happen is that the back and the front or the back here on the side are going to reflect some light actually quite a bit of light onto the back side of the model so you can take more balanced pictures without the need of multiple lights or um, a photo booth and they're really, it's really easy to, to store and just put it on top of something else. I don't have to worry about taking up a lot of space, which I don't have for a photo booth. And it really does help the quality of the pictures quite a bit, just having the light bouncing off. Um, I just have a desk lamp here, which I used to paint. It was a daylight temperature uh, CC, uh, cold, uh, compact fluorescent. And light just bounces off to the sides in the back here and really helps illuminate, eliminate a lot of the shadows you would get from using just a single light source. Uh, so anyway, that's what that is. So most of the work I did today was on the Titan armor plates. And I got them just about done. So the armor plates are done up, as I said, they did a base coat of a shabby bone. Then I did some highlights with first a blend of a shabby bone and white and then a pure white. And then the whole area got covered with the Lamenter's Yellow Glaze. And then I glue everything on with plastic glue, uh, which will actually soak through acrylic paints. So if you're going to glue a plastic model together after it's painted, plastic glue actually works fine because it'll soak through the acrylic paints and still melt the plastic and provide a really good bond. It just takes a long time to cure up when you do it that way. Um, so I might go over the, some of the black areas uh, with some gray lines in the corners. I don't know yet. It depends. And then of course then the whole model has to get varnished, or specifically gloss varnished, so I can do the decals and the pin washes with oil paints. But the basic color is done. This is a Hawk Shroud, House Hawk Shroud. And I think it's just absolutely, everything just turned out absolutely gorgeous on it. Um, so that's what I did tonight. I got all the rest of the trim done, which took a long time, and then glued everything down. So now I just have to wait for the uh, glue to cure, and then I can move on to the next step. Uh, for the question of the day, um, this is, what is it? What miniature vehicle diorama inspired you to do the most when you first became interested in the painting side of the hobby? Um, the painting side actually came before the playing side for me, because uh, I've been doing models, regular models, through most of high school. And they kind of dropped off in the, in the late, you know, I was in college in the early 90s. And then when I picked up this hobby again back in the 90s, in, in the late 90s, or got into Warhammer in the late 90s, um, I just kind of picked up where I left off. Most of my inspiration actually came from the third edition or Codex, because um, I really didn't have anything else, or the internet wasn't that huge. I think I actually started playing Warhammer before I got, while I was still on dial-up, broad dial-up internet, so. Looking at a lot of pictures really wasn't an option back then. So, let's see. And then for tomorrow, I really don't know what I'm going to do yet. I haven't decided I'm going to definitely be priming the armor plates for Titan number two. And past that, I'm not sure. I might start working on the details for Titan number two, or I might work on the orc truck, or I might do something completely different, because I do have other projects here I can work on too. Um, I just don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, so that's it for day number three, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.